So I had 10 waves of awakening that happened over about the course of a year, year and a half. And I'm going to tell the first half of that story today. The first wave was a wave of truth. And what I mean by that is I directed a documentary for the Truth Initiative, a nonprofit about the opioid crisis. And I met a young girl named Rebecca, uh, who was actually a year younger than me. Our birthdays are four days apart. And Rebecca was at the end of her ropes, uh, a heroin addict. And we were filming her detoxing off heroin. And when I met Rebecca, I felt like I was meeting myself and I couldn't quite figure out how or why. And eventually Rebecca told her story that her parents got a divorce when she was 13. My parents got a divorce when she was 13. Um, that year she had a, an injury and started using prescription opioids. And that year when I was 13, I found my love of photography and I kind of fell in love with photography. And I realized that Rebecca and I were actually the same person, that she had used opioids from a very young age to numb and suppress her pain, and I had used my work workaholism to suppress and numb my pain. And as much as Rebecca felt like a zombie, I felt like a zombie, and she was actually the one that pointed that out at me and said, you know, Tucker, you should probably get some help. And uh, when a heroin addict tells you that you should get some help, uh, it, you, you listen. And, um, and so about a week later after the project, I was in Big Sur, California, in the most beautiful, at the Post Ranch Inn, which is a very expensive high-end resort, and I got a call that I had won six Cam Lion Awards, which are the biggest awards in advertising. And I was with my uh, wife, and we were looking out over the cliffs of Big Sur, and on a material level, I had reached the top. I, I, I could not have been more successful at, at my young age. But inside, I felt like I wanted to die. I quite literally was basically suicidal. And so something wasn't working. But luckily, I had signed up for a meditation retreat, uh, my first 10-day meditation retreat um, after this encounter with Rebecca. And I went to Mexico. And for the first three, four, or five days, bawling my eyes out, I couldn't sit still. I, I, I felt like a prisoner and trapped. And what I realized was, what I realized was that I didn't love myself. I didn't think that you should love yourself. I thought that loving yourself was something that, I thought that love is something you only feel for somebody else or something else. And that's why I had just escaped into my work and into my career and into my success because it felt like something I could love externally and not internally. And eventually by the end of the meditation retreat, I was like a changed person and I, I just want, I never wanted to leave but the 10 days were up. Fast forward a couple months later, and this is where the tsunami came. I, um, I had broken up with, I decided to take some time apart from uh, my wife, Sam, and we had the most loving, beautiful conversation. And, um, and it was weird, because the moment that I, we decided to separate was the moment that I actually loved her on a far deeper level. I almost loved her on a spiritual level and not on a material kind of girlfriend or wife level. And I felt like something transcended in that moment. And three days later, I took psilocybin mushrooms for the first time. And I think all the walls of my heart had collapsed um, prior to taking mushrooms. And when I took the mushrooms, it was just an explosion, a, a full-blown spiritual experience and encounter with God. And um, in this trip, uh, God, or some voice told me that no matter what happens in life, you're gonna forget everything that is you're feeling and thinking right now, but just remember that everything is perfect. And in fact, God said, get that tattooed on your left arm. Um, everything is perfect. And so a few months later, I got Toto Perfecto. This is a tattoo in Mexico that I got. So I changed it to Toto Perfecto. And it's just a reminder that no matter what happens in life, no matter the pain you feel, no matter how hard things get, Everything is perfect, everything is meant to be. And um, that's just the start of a very long story. <laughs>